Rick Sky here back again with another video. Now I know that I just mentioned my predictions, my personal predictions and demands as well for the DJI Phantom 3, but there's something else that's come out and it's one of those things that you may not be aware of. So what DJI has done, they performed a refresh of the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. So not to be confused with the rumored DJI Phantom 3, but the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus version 3. So that's still a 2 Vision Plus, but it's version 3 of the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. It actually comes with some very uh, subtle yet seemingly significant updates, and you can find a link to it within this video's description. You'll notice it's probably a little bit more expensive than the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. This is the one that says version 3, V3. So what do you get? You get a new controller. The original uh, Phantom 2 Vision Plus controller, you had to use AA batteries in it. This has a rechargeable battery pack in it. In addition to that, on the controller, you have a visual indicator for your battery status. I know if you were like me and you packed uh, four or so Phantom batteries, went out in the field, you were wondering, well, how much juice do I have left on, on those AA batteries? Well, this solves that dilemma. And in addition to that, the big upgrade is that you get a scroll wheel for the camera. So on your controller, you can scroll the camera and you don't have to uh, use the app. And that was a problem because when you're out on the beach or environments like that and your hands get dirty or sweaty, using that smartphone's app to, uh, to manipulate the camera up and down is not really optimal. And then likewise, if you use the accelerometer, well, if you're running around, it's, it's kind of silly to run around and keep your to keep everything stable. And ultimately, if you're running around with it, you're probably going to be panning up and down and not realize it. So those are the big updates from my perspective, but there's more. The, uh, the motors are supposed to be more powerful, capable of lifting a greater payload. And that's, uh, that's kind of a double-edged sword because a lot of people have claimed that the version 3 Phantom 2 Vision Plus the version 3 of it, that the battery life's not as good because of the more powerful motors. It's kind of a trade-off there. Uh, there's also been some, uh, and I don't have all of the technical ins and outs, but there's been some circuitry updates inside of the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and I think one of the main ones was to better prevent interference. And that's important, obviously, because with a Phantom, when you're flying, it's... Uh, heavily dependent upon GPS satellites uh, to maintain that stability. And if you, get, uh, if you get unexpected interference, it can degrade your, uh, your flight dynamics, and that's, that's not, not a good thing. But I just wanted to share this with everyone because if you were like me, you probably weren't aware that the, uh, that the version 3 of the Phantom 2 Vision Plus existed. And the telltale way to tell that it's likely a version 3 is to look at that controller. If you see in the bottom right area of the controller, you see those, those little bulbs, the battery status indicators, and also the toggle wheel for the, uh, for the camera up and down. Something cool I thought I'd share, if you don't have that Phantom 2 Vision Plus yet, you, you may want to consider this one. Like I said, it's probably a little bit more expensive, but you're getting those, uh, those added benefits. Are those significant enough to upgrade? If you already own a Phantom 2 Vision Plus, in my opinion, it's not. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the Phantom 3. Can't wait for that one to come out. Tell me what you think. Share this video with others. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And y'all have a good day.